very first chore of Jen's maternity leave is mow the lawn. It's kind of done very roughly. It was so, so long. So I've just given it a quick sort of like cut and next weekend I'll probably do it again. I still have a fence there that should be here but is not. And uh, watching this out, but Jen's in bed and it's now 6 p.m. I sent Jen to bed about two hours ago. We'd watched an episode of Game of Thrones. We're now halfway through season six. So we've only got five episodes to go until we have caught up with the rest of the world. I'm quite chuffed, so still no spoilers, please, guys, no spoilers. I'm gonna go and try and wake Jen up and see if she wants to go out to get something to eat. Uh, and maybe do some shopping, because we have no food in the house whatsoever. Oh. And Spray's just still asleep. Yeah. It's been like two hours or something, maybe? Really? It's quarter past six. Wow. I can't remember what time it came up. I thought it was around about four o'clock or something. So, yeah. Ah, anyway. Must have needed that. Hungry? Yeah, we should have some dinner. No, I'm hungry. We have no food in the house. Okay, let's go get some dinner. You look kind of comfy there, mate. In case you need to have a vlog, this is a draft excluder that Shep appropriated as a cuddly toy <laughs> and he lies on it in his bed. He loves it. Don't you, mate? You love it loads. <laughs> Good boy. I think my approximate two hour nap was probably more than sufficient, although it really doesn't feel like it. I'm still a little bit dozy. It's still daylight and it's still sunny, which is really good because this is the first time that Chris and I have been out of the house. Oh, I was gonna say since I've been on my maternity leave, but it's not because it, we went out last night. It's the first time we've been out of the house today and the sun is still shining, it's lovely. Only just though. Only just, it's gone behind a cloud. But it will come back, I'm sure it will. I can see some blue sky. A bit of blue sky great. there. Okay, you can't see any blue sky. Oh, there's some, there's some, I see some blue. Before we can go get something for us to eat, and before we can go and buy our food shopping, we have made an emergency stop at Wix, because Chris has got some bits to pick up. But my tummy's really achy, I think. I wasn't quite awake when I got out of bed, and I've maybe strained a little bit. So I'm gonna sit here and wait for him to be done in works. Then we can go food shopping together. My life seems to involve a lot of waiting in the car at the moment. <laughs> like, we kind of get to places and I feel fine when we arrive. And then the thought of getting out of the car and walking around a massive shop like works just kind of makes me feel like, oh, I can't be bothered. <laughs> I don't know what the word is. I don't know what, how to describe that in English, but that's basically how I feel right now. And I know full well that in 10 to 15 minutes, I'm gonna have to walk all the way around Asda and that is an even bigger shop for even longer. So I figure I will save my energy now, conserve my energy. Luckily, Asda's only here. So it's a nice, easy drive around. Wix, Asda, Wix, Asda. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to drive like all the way around the world together. Not literally, you, get, you understand, but like, Quite far. I have my wallet with me, so I thought Jen was gonna have to come in and pay, but it was under 30 quid, so Apple Watch, it was awesome. I'm just like, ding, the two guys behind me, fascinated. I managed to find what I wanted. I have a fence post holder, and I went for the longest bolts I could find, hoping that that's enough due diligence that if I went for, because I was like these ones and some slightly smaller ones, and I just, I couldn't decide, and I thought that if I go for these, you know, I've got a six foot fence post and fence to hold up. If I go for the shorter ones, the same price, if I go for the shorter ones and it falls down and goes through next door's conservatory or something, yeah. it's not going to go down for all. So it's only £15. That's good. And hopefully I can crack on with that tomorrow, but I need food. Worryingly, it appears that virtually everything here is closed. Um, I need food from there. I'm just hoping, I'm just hoping, I'm just hoping that that's open. Look like it's open. Yeah, people there's people inside. in there. I don't know what time it closes though. FYI, 8 o'clock. Okay, I gotta say, one thing I do love about these pop sockets, they make a great shopping list holder with your phone. When you're pushing a trolley, taking stuff off the shelf, it just doesn't go anywhere. And says she wants a watermelon because apparently this is how big Pip is. It totally is, look. In fact, I think Pip might be bigger than that watermelon. Really? Yeah, my bump might be, but Pip is the size of a watermelon. Stick it in. Great thing about coming on a Saturday at 8 o'clock is the place is dead. Yes. Unfortunately, you have to have organic carrots because they're the only <laughs> ones left. They're out of what I want now. Really? Yeah. 
I want what's probably one of these. <laughs> that one, that cry. Yeah, that's what I want. That's no good. We're gonna have to have these. They're more expensive, you don't get as many. But they are tasty. They are tasty. It's what we used to get anyway. Um, I don't have any hands, can you do one? I guess it. Thanks. Not that one. It's some, probably open and feels broken. Crunchy. Feels like someone stood on that one. Yeah. If anybody can explain to me what these things are, I'd love to know. Jen seems to think that's something called a CD, but uh, I don't think I've heard of that before. I didn't know they still sold them in supermarkets. How old do they think we like are? Specialist shops to get them. Is these guys, have these guys not heard of iTunes? And it appears to be in her element. There is a baby event in Asda, and she can't help herself but to try and buy everything on the shelf. No, we just need to check to make sure that we don't need it. It has gotten so dark since we've been in there. How long have we been in there? I don't know, it feels like a very long time. I'm loving the colours in the sky though. It looks really nice. We spotted this car mirror, which is really good and still on our list of stuff to buy. So we picked one up and Chris is going to install it in the back of our car. We are now officially ready for BIP. I love having the car seat in the car. See the sky looks now. It's all pink in the distance. Look at that sky. It's like something's on fire over there. No weekly size guide for this week. We believe that pip weighs and measures around about the same as a watermelon. While we we're out, we've picked up a watermelon and we think, according to the averages, pip should be weighing about 6.8 pounds this week. And now we're going to weigh the melon and see how big the actual melon is. <gasps> 6.5! That is a pretty good estimate. So that is literally about the same weight as pip this week. Three ounces off. That's really heavy. It is really heavy. It's really, it's no wonder I'm tired. Despite having had my huge two hour nap earlier on, I am starting to feel the effects of what has been quite a busy day. I'm sitting on the sofa at the moment, kind of obviously, and I'm going to have a cup of raspberry leaf tea, which is here, and it looks super yummy. Although I don't think it's having any effect so far. I hope it does soon. And I'm watching an episode of Criminal Minds Beyond Borders. And then, look at the time. I'm going to have to call it a night. Mm -hmm.